Hello guys, welcome back with me. Ciao ciao 2025. Today we're going to learn another interpolation tool. This time we're going to use Toon Crafter. This interpolation is way better at predicting movement. It could even predict the next two seconds from one image to another image. Of course, it will use more VRAM to do this. If you just want a simple interpolation that could predict the next four frames, or simply to smooth a movement from low frame rate to higher frame rate, check the link on simple interpolation video in video description. Also, you need to have Comfy UI and Git. How to install them also, I put the link on video description. Now back to Toon Crafter. To use this, you need a lot of VRAM. But if you use Comfy, you could use less. Make sure you install XFormer to be able to use Toon Crafter in Comfy. We need Comfy U, iDynamic Crafter Wrapper Custom Node. Just install this using Manager and get it. Here the example. I copy the Git link. Then install it using Manager. The next step is to install the requirement. Depending on your Comfy UI installation, you could follow the first way or the second way. Since I use Portable Comfy, I go to Comfy UI Portable Directory. Open command prompt there. Copy paste the script and run it. Requirement will be installed. After that, you could just restart Comfy. Now you need to install XFormer. Just copy paste the script and run it on command prompt. In this example, I already have XFormer, so it ends pretty fast. If you don't have XFormer yet, it will download and install it. Next, Get the model. Download the safe tensor model in Hugging Face. Link is on the GitHub page. Put the model in comfy UI slash models slash checkpoints slash dynamic crafter. I suggest you use Toon Crafter 512 interp FP16 since it will use less VRAM. If you not download it now, it will download automatically the first time I use the workflow. Now you're done with it. Let's download a sample workflow from the GitHub. Just download the low VRAM workflow. Open it in Comfy UI. There will be missing custom nodes. Install it with Manager. I have found a few nodes can't be found using manager. So I delete those and changing it with batch images. Just make sure first image and second image has the same dimension to avoid error. In this example, I use 512 times 768. I use all the default setting. Here are the results. After you finish this, you could increase the interpolation so it has more frame rate with Rife VP interpolation model.
In this example, I use four time interpolation and also increase the video size. Also, here another example. This time I show use VRAM that being U. In this example, using FP16 model, you could use to 8 VRAM for 512 times 768 images. Here are the result. Also, it take 108 second for generating 16 frames. Here are another example. Of course. Using image that are moving too far afar will ruin the video. Let's try this two image. Of course, it could also generate very great movement like this example. But if more often generate wrong movement, I think it is a cool technology. But for now, I prefer the Rife VPI interpolation. This thing take too much VRAM and it's too unreliable for me. The use case for this I think is use control net from one movement to another. Combined with IP adapter for more consistent background and uniform. But for now, that is too much hassle for me. It is great, but I think in the future this will be way better. But for now, I will hardly use Tomb Crafter. Anyway guys, that's it for today video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and comment. See you on the next episode. And have a nice day. Please subscribe.